What's up everyone? Today we're going to be talking all about WordPress news. So what is going on in the WordPress community? What's all the good stuff? What's up with plugins and themes and feature updates? All of that we'll be talking about in this video. Now first off is that Yoast, sorry, Yoast, yes, they have a new CEO. Now this happened probably last month, but no one really talked about it. So Yoast actually has a new CEO. It looks like uh, Yoast Devolk actually, I think, stepped down and now we have the new CEO. I, I want to say this correctly. Marik Von Die Rocht, is that right? Someone can uh, let me know in the comments below if I, if I said that right. And she is now the new CEO of Yoast. Uh, if you want to go ahead, send her a tweet, congratulate her, saying, hey, congratulations. And this happens all the time in companies, guys. It's not like some disciplinary action where like, oh, you got fired. No, the guy still works for the company, obviously. The guy works for, now he's in the product and marketing department. And again, this happens all the time in companies. You know, people come in, they come out. Disney, Disney had a lot of CEOs. You know, Disney, uh, well, not Amazon, but other other public companies do this all the time. So, uh, you know, Ju Yoast is still, you know, I, I, I want to say his name is Juiced, but I think I got a lot of crap from that in my Yoast video. So I believe his name is, is pronounced Yoast, even though in our English, it's pronounced Juiced. So, you know, my bad, my bad, you know? Uh, and, um, you know, he's still working for the company, and everything. So, you know, it's just something to look out. You can read their story about what, you know, uh, you know, her history. I mean, she's been with Yoast for quite some time. So she really knows her stuff. She knows what's going on. So, you know, go ahead and congratulate her. Send her a, send her a tweet. Give her a, a tweet, you know, and congratulate her. And there are some also other controversial issues with Yoast. Now, I, I'm going to go ahead and just defend this guy, you know, because right here you can see that WB Tavern released an article kind of talking about that. A long time ago, that uh, Yoast, I guess, you know, they, he made some perverted comments, something like that, where he was just like talking to one of his, one of, you know, like back then the company was nothing and they're kind of like tweeting to each other and he's just saying, like, oh, I want to get your boyfriend away and you look good like this and you look good naked, whatever. You know, 10, 11 years ago, guys, I did probably some of the worst stuff ever, uh, you know, so. I, I don't really think this reflects the company whatsoever. And he did come out and make an apology. He just says, you know, this does not reflect me. I'm truly sorry. I personally forgive him. I mean, 11 years ago, we all did stupid things. So, um, you know, I that's not even that dumb, to be honest. He's just he's just being a flirt. There's nothing, nothing that bad about it. He's just flirting. I think the article might be kind of overreacting here. But, you know, people here are saying that this guy right here needs this little safe space. And, oh, that's not okay. Uh, whatever. Get over it. I'm sure no one's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I... Everyone who's watching this video has done bad things. Like, there is no perfect person in society. No one is perfect, you know, except for me, all right? That's that's the only person that could be perfect here is me, you know? So that was just something I saw, but, you know, I forgive him. And, you know, if you saw that article, you know, give them give them benefit of the doubt, you know? It's a long time ago. The guy's a good guy. The company's really good. He built it up really well. And what he said 11 years ago does not reflect the company whatsoever. Next is... Elegant Themes. Now here, Elegant Themes is actually building, Elegant Themes is building a marketplace for the Divi add-on. So uh, here is a website, Modern Premiere. It's owned by Gino Kiros. And he actually said that uh, he's actually closing down his marketplace because Elegant Themes is actually getting very close to opening up their marketplace. What's gonna happen? What are they gonna sell? I have no idea. Well, they have an affiliate program. I have no idea. Will, will we be able to make money off those products? I have no idea. But it'd be better because, uh, well, actually, Divi's not that. Divi, Divi is not that fractured. Elementor plugins are way fractured. That that company needs a marketplace because they have plugins up the wazoo or everywhere. But um, the Divi plugins will all be sold from one location, making it much easier to kind of find out where to go instead of going to all these random websites. So um, Elegant Things will be making their own official. Divi Marketplace. So that is something to look out for. Next is, it looks like the Jupiter theme. The Jupiter theme made it to number two on the list. Avada. I, 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 to this day, it's still a mystery to me. It's just a mystery to me why they're number one. I've used that theme. It's not that good. In fact, uh, I would say any of these themes on the list are probably even the same or better. But, you know, it's still a good company. You know, they still have a nice page builder. They made it themselves. I give them I give them full applause for that, making their own page builder. A lot of these theme companies like <laughs> Jupiter, they just use other page builders and then they make a frame for it kind of. But, you know, I've heard Jupiter is actually really good. I've actually kind of looked at it. I personally didn't like it too much, but that doesn't mean, just because I don't like something doesn't mean it's a bad product. It's still a, a pretty good product. I just felt it was a little bit too complicated but i do like the owners you know i, I love their 
their their uh, their creativeness. I love how these videos they make. You know, this guy's he's just talking about the theme, and you know, he's trying to sell you. But I like the guy. You know, he's 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 looking out for his company. You know, he wants to make sales, and you know, to me, that's that's commendable. You know, so be sure to check out Jupiter if you want to go ahead and check out that theme. It is trending. It's right now. It's on number two on Envato. But that's probably because it's on sale. We don't know how long it'll be there. But be sure to check out the Jupiter theme. Next is the Brizzy theme is introducing blocks. And I like these blocks because these right here are really nice, beautiful designs. And I'm just very eager to see a lot of their work. You know, Elementor also has blocks. But I think the blocks that with Elementor were just no good. Just no good. You know, they're, they're really just no good. Oh, looks like that was it. But these right here have, have thorough designs, they have color, they have images included, and the blocks of the Elementor are just black and white, and they don't really have much design at the core to them, so I can't really say that they're that great. But these blocks do look much better. So uh, be Brizzy Page Builder, be sure to check it out. They are currently in developments. The Pro version should be fully launched, maybe by the end of March, hopefully, by April, March or April. I talked to the guy, he said somewhere around there, hopefully. So another two months, and then they'll be out of, of beta. Uh, next is Template Monster is creating their own subscription service. So here they're kind of saying, we'll give you everything on a subscription basis. Now, this the prices haven't been released yet, but they're going to be offering a lot of their products and services on a subscription basis. So that's going to really change things up because they have a lot of products. And, you know, I, I've, I've used some of their products, but I don't really buy much from Template Monster, but they are making a subscription service for it. So... That might change stuff. You know, that's going to have a lot of products into it. Um, personally, I think they should probably stop selling Press the Shop. Uh, Press the Shop is, I, I, I want to say Press the Shop is such an old fashioned, I mean, Press the Shop and Open Cart, I wouldn't even sell them anymore. I would keep the Joomla. I would keep Shopify. I'd keep the HTML templates. Magento, I don't know about that. I think Magento is slowly phasing out, but we'll, we'll see about that. But you know, if you guys want to know in the comments about Tempo Monster, you know, the owner actually did contact me and he was basically saying, what can we do to improve our product? And me personally, I think Tempo Monster kind of has a bad history just because of in the past, they've, you know, a lot of the stuff they sell on Tempo Monster, like for example, right here, I'll just kind of, I'll just give some constructive criticism. You know, I do like a lot of their, I do like a lot of their, their products. I do like a lot of their stuff, but what I don't like is their upsells. And I also don't like how every theme on their website is five star rated like come on it's not i mean they're, they're probably not realistic views now i don't know that for a fact but have you ever gone to a website where everything is five stars i don't know about that you know it's kind of but i love their designers their designers are the best <laughs> they have the best designs now this is one thing i don't like about about temple monsters that when i try to buy stuff right here look at these upsells 199 online store integration so that means just to install woocommerce is that what it's saying um, over here we have only use it once and then they have I want to use it multiple domains oh they have their other one they took off I think they had this other one for like like ten thousand dollars looks like they took that off but uh, I just don't like the upsells but we'll see what happens you know we'll see what the company does um, the subscription service does look very promising because that's gonna be very competitive you're gonna get a lot of themes and plugins uh, for a hopefully a pretty good price you know they are the authors of the the Jet Elements, the Jet, all those Jet Elementor plugins that are pretty popular out there. So be sure to check that out. Also, Elementor, they have a new beta coming out, and this beta looks very promising. Now, this beta right here, you can see that they are introducing absolute positioning. And what this does is that it allows you to take any widget and basically place it anywhere. That looks pretty amazing. That looks really amazing, actually. Um, I'm interested to see what the responsive problems will be once you do that because uh, while it looks good on desktop, if you look at it from a different resolution, you can have some major resolution problems. So I'm just curious as to seeing how they approach that and really just to see that because that looks great. You know, I, I, I love that. It's it's intuitive. It's it's ambitious. It's it's very competitive. And then also they have the, the fixed position for certain elements. That is another really cool one. So... I'm really interested to see what's going to what's going to go on there. Also, they have the column vertical and horizontal alignment, and this will actually help you with pricing tables. You can see from the image right there that right there is a common problem. Did you see that? But they have this new thing where it's basically kind of putting them all in the correct position. Now that right there is another amazing feature. Hats off to Elementor. Congratulations. That looks like a really cool feature. Um, I, I'm I mean that's I'm I want to see it in action. You know, this is the beta, but 
looking at it, I can say that this is something that's really, really amazing. Next is, oh, WP Brigade. Their plugin was, uh, they have a plugin out there and their plugin is actually the social sharing button. It has around 40,000 active installs, this plugin right here, and it had a big security problem. So if you have, if you have this on your website, people can actually log in and make changes on your website if you have this plugin installed. So I saw that and I was like, wow. So I think they fixed it last update two weeks ago. I believe they fixed it, but I'm still not sure. Um, I saw this article maybe around a week ago. So maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But it looks like if you had the plugin installed and someone were to visit your website, people can actually access the back end. Pretty scary stuff, but I'm pretty sure they'll fix it. But that was just a, a small cost for concern. WP Brigade, they look like a legitimate company, in my opinion. We're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. All right, everybody makes mistakes in WordPress. And um, you know, I'm sure it's it's nothing. I'm sure they'll, they'll have it all fixed. And they have a lot of other plugins, man. They have a lot of other plugins with a lot of active installs. So um, yeah, you know, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, I'm sure it's just a, it's just a small mistake, guys. You know, and and um, yeah, and then also make sure to visit wpfriends.com, which is the social networking website for WordPress. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next video, everyone. Take care.